Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to the freaking vlog. I must say, that is the most hats I've ever put in one box before. And look what the first one I picked out at the top is. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, let's see if I can cover his address up. Look who it is, isn't it? It's our old mate, Greggy boy. Hey, fancy that. So your hat's on its way, my friend. I'll tell you what though, if I'd have known it was this much work putting all these hats into all these boxes, I might have just thrown a few quid on top to pay for the time that we spent doing it. But it's been good training for Jackie boy. So we're gonna get these wrapped up. The collection's booked in for tomorrow. The hat page is now taken down, so if you ain't got a hat, you're too late. We'll run it again later on in the year, but maybe we'll do something different like t-shirts or baseball caps. I prefer the woolly hats though, I don't really wanna do the baseball caps, but t-shirts will be a goer, I think. And then, yeah, this afternoon, we're gonna just pick up another project. Uh, because Big Secure last week got me into making curries, our house is now full of all these herbs and spices. Cheers, dude. So uh, we need to make some type of spice rack for the wall, and I think today's the day that we tackle that project. So at home in the kitchen, we don't have a lot of space on the walls. What space we do have is already filled pretty much with shelves. So I've just shot home and picked up uh, the measurements that I require, there they are, just roughly sketched out, to make three storage units for the kitchen to help us a little bit because we're really struggling with space there and also to get rid of some of this scrap timber. So we have here some pallet wood which we broke down weeks ago for the renovation or the installation of the new brew shed and also there's a little bit of the old lesbian timber bit of tongue and groove there for you look so this is what we use to clad the fermenters and boil kettle these are offcuts from that so to utilize the spare materials that I've got lying around without buying a single thing we're gonna set about and try to make a spice stroke sauce rack and then another little rack for storing cereal boxes in mainly because they're under the stairs at the minute and it's a pain in the arse to get to. So let's set the camera up and get making.
is the finished article, but I can't help but think that there's something missing. So I'm going to change these pieces of timber out here, these uh, these bars, if you like, to stop everything falling out. And I'm going to change them out for a bit of rebar and uh, some flat steel that I've got. And then we'll hit it with some beeswax and see how it looks. So what do you think then, boss? Good! <laughs> Such a fake smile. <laughs> yes, I think actually it's taken uh, a shelf which just basically held a couple of dozen glasses and, uh, well, absolutely, there we go, absolutely brightened that corner up. Everything's accessible now, no fumbling around in the cupboard for the spices that we need. That was a good project. So I'm going to call it quits for the day. It's absolutely stunning outside. I'll take you so you can see. Make sure that we're not overexposed when we get there. Oh, the door's locked. Oh my God. It's absolutely beautiful out here. And the plum and the cherry, well, the plum tree's in bloom. The cherry's just about to get going, I think. So because of this, I'm going to head back down to the brew shed and I'm going to make the most of our freaking awesome beer garden in this weather. Yes, I am. We'll see you tomorrow.